This isn't a Kaido video, but before starting out talking about this stuff, I just gotta say, Kaido has grown on me to a level that I cannot comprehend. He's not my favorite antagonist yet, but he's getting up there. He is incredible from everything he brings to the table, just how much he can take his knowledge, his dialogue. His design was always raw, but God damn, Kaido is raw. If you agree with me, just spam that like button because we all know Kaido at this point and he's still not done. And he's going against, I know people are gonna get triggered, a literal God, get triggered. Go ahead, get triggered. And he's still holding his own, just casually dodging lightning. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Spoilers will be in this video. <laughs> Next chapter, 1047. But what I'm here to talk about is people that don't have devil fruits and of course in one piece there are a lot more people that don't have devil fruits than people that do so it's not a crazy thing but the people typically in the top tier let's say a consensus top 20 most of those guys are gonna have devil fruits so for the people that don't have devil fruits as far as we know i'm just here to hype them up a little bit okay and also to add some context to what kaido was saying here in this chapter this recent chapter i know some of you are disappointed that Luffy does not have a regular just rubber fruit. Initially, I kind of was, was hyped that Luffy had a mythical Zoan fruit. It was weird and I'm still coming to terms with it, but it's like, well, Luffy doesn't have a regular fruit and is making it hype anymore. For the most part, people are just going with the story and they're enjoying Luffy just having whatever power it is. I am okay with it. I think it's just weird that Luffy doesn't have the Gomu Gomu no Mi. It's just a weird thing to process, right? However, that's what he has. So we're here and Luffy has a mythical Zoan, the model Nika, and it has some unbelievable powers. Luffy can somewhat bend reality with some limitations. Of course, rubber has to be involved in some way, but his awakening working concurrently with his future sight and his arm and hockey and his Supreme Conqueror's hockey, it makes Luffy a very formidable opponent. But in this recent chapter, Kaido pointed out something that I think was really important, right? Just the fact that having a strong devil fruit power is not enough. You need a lot more than that. Kaido is saying that you need a strong devil fruit power, you need hockey, and you need to sub to the channel for more content like this. That's what he's saying, bro. I can't control it. He's saying, look down just to make sure YouTube has not unsubscribed you. Click that red button. If it's red already, click the like button and let's move on. No, seriously though, Kaido is saying here that just having a strong devil fruit power is not enough. Of course, the easy thing to jump to, and we will jump to it, is the people that don't have devil fruits, right? But I think it's a bit deeper than that, right? So let's add some context. This is after Luffy grabbed lightning, it after Kaido and Kaido is saying just how ridiculous he is. Luffy's fighting style, it's really free, but for someone like Kaido, it comes off as a bit whimsical and he's playing around. Kaido even says it, you can keep playing around if you want to. Then of course he hits a home run. At that point, Kaido's telling him that's not enough. And then Kaido proceeds to get a few hits in, a few devastating hits by the way. And then he brings up Roger, but then he specifies that such hurdles can be overcome with hockey, which I'm assuming Luffy's power right now, because of how, I don't know, devastating or silly it is, right? It's creating issues for Kaido, but he's saying he can overcome them with hockey. The deeper meaning could be Kaido talking about something else in regards to overcoming these hurdles, not just with hockey, but just with resolve, with determination, which Luffy does not lack any of that. So having that conversation with Luffy doesn't make sense. Look at where he is now, but it does confirm something that we already pretty much knew. Hockey is the great equalizer. When we think of absolutely amazing Devil Fruit users like Whitebeard, Law, even some of the Admirals. They seem overpowered and broken. Even Magellan, right? You, it's like, man, how can you defeat some of these people with the powers that they have? It is overwhelming. Kaido is telling us, wait, hold on. Roger brought the world to its heels without having a devil fruit power. Now, out of context, it's a lot more hype because Roger did this, right? And again, shout out to Roger, shout out to Garp. They were competing without any Devil Fruit powers and they were the two, they are still, I think consensus considered the two greatest of all time on the Marine side and on the pirate side. First off, being able to compete with Whitebeard in his prime, having the Guru Guru no Mi, insane. But we can go down the list. Shanks, right? Shanks has no Devil Fruit. And for whatever reason, he's on the same tier as Big Mom, Kaido, Blackbeard, and back then Whitebeard. Shanks with no Devil fruit and one freaking arm if anything guys the person that got the most hype after kaido said this roger's dead right Rayleigh's retired shanks because not only does he say this he also has shanks in his top five now in kaido's top five and that could be ranging from so many different things it has rocks roger whitebeard odin and shanks three of these guys we know for a fact no devil fruit shanks roger odin whitebeard of course 
obviously, rocks, I'm willing to bet that he did have one. I'm going to go out on a limb and say he had a devil fruit. But I love what Oda is doing here and saying hockey is a great equalizer. Now, deeper thinking, right? Because I'm just wrapping my head around all of this. Of course, it's not surprising that Kaido has hockey to a high regard. Three of the people in his top five talking about Luffy's ceiling, they don't have devil fruits so for him it's going to be skewed a bit the people that maybe threatened him the most they don't have devil fruits but let me ask a question do we think devil fruits could hinder your hockey gauge like brog what the fuck are you talking about okay what i'm saying is devil fruits right there's a learning curve to these things if you get a devil fruit you have to learn how to utilize this devil fruit does that take away from your hockey growth does that cap your hockey growth your hockey potential if you have a devil fruit because you have to incorporate it into your fighting style not sure but for whatever reason these people without this incredible power they can compete or even on a higher level than these people with devil fruits now now to be clear typically the people that don't have devil fruits they have something else to make up for that like a weapon right a sharp weapon <laughs> right kaido does have a weapon big mom does have a weapon but these people seem to have a next level of mastery of their blades right next level of mastery of hockey and again not sure if mihawk has a devil fruit i would hope that he doesn't but he's another person that gets a lot of hype again it seems like the archetype for being a strong combatant in the one piece world without having a double fruit you must have some other weapon to make up for it sans garp because he just has his fists no double fruit just straight hands i mean garp gets so much hype this is yo i'm losing my mind just thinking of how garp and roger are able to compete with shiki and whitebeard and even rocks and some of those guys without having a devil fruit power right so odin odin is somebody who just had enma right had his swords odin is somebody that gets disrespected a bit and and I think I have to give Odin more respect because <laughs> it's so crazy. When it started out, I, I think I hyped Odin too much, right? When people were like, Brogy, you're crazy, Odin being... Because I was saying back then, Odin was probably stronger than Mihawk. Um, I think he's definitely still stronger than Zora is right now. I was really on the Odin hype train. I was just so impressed with Odin. Then I realized I went too far, then I pulled back a bit, right? And that's what I do sometimes when I realize I'm just going too crazy for a character. I try not to hype the character too much, and sometimes I downplay them. I do the same with Dofi, Katakuri, and Odin. Something that reeled me back in was when I thought about what Zora was doing with Enma and how much Enma was pushing him to the point that he was about to die. Odin did not have any of those issues. It's almost like, you know, people don't like comparisons, but I don't care. My hero, right? With All Might and Deku. All Might could handle one for all with no issue, right? His body was ready for it. And Deku, even as much as he's grown, still could not handle one for all. Odin had no issues wielding Enma, no drawbacks whatsoever. He was doing anything he wanted to the point that he was cutting, <laughs> shout out to my boy King of Lightning, on a molecular level. Now, I do think Rayleigh gets a slight edge because Rayleigh is another one, no devil fruit, right? But Odin is right there. I think, of course, there are levels to this right? You have people like the Roger, the Whitebeards, the Garps, the Luffy's, the Kaidos, the Shanks. Those are the peak of Emperor tier. Then you have a level right behind that. In my opinion, I think you have the Odins, the Sabos, the Ben Beckmans, the Rayleigh's, where Zoro is probably going to be. He may eclipse that possibly but you have the people that can split the skies and the people that cannot right and those people are at the top of the verse and luffy is one of them now this is about people that don't have hockey so it's not just about the swords users we got to talk about yasop sanji ben beckman those guys that can compete and we can't forget zoro they can compete on the level of these top tiers without having a devil fruit power now again i don't know if oda gets deeper into this about how it impacts your hockey ability right your hockey potential i mean luffy is not suffering from that issue so it probably isn't a thing right where just having a devil fruit limits how much your hockey limitation is however luffy is different clearly but for the regular person it takes time to learn your devil fruit but then you probably assimilate to a specific fighting style like for katakuri having that devil fruit they did guide him towards future sight right meaning that was the best way to utilize his ability so that's what he focused on he trained his observation hockey to a level that he could see a bit into the future i'm just here to hype those guys shanks oden roger oreilly Zoro, Sanji, Ben Beckman, Yasop. I mean, all of Shanks' crew at this point. The hockey masters, the hockey men. Of course, you have other weapons to make up for the difference for not having a devil fruit power, but come on. These guys deserve a lot more credit and I'm just here to just hype them, bro. But guys, give me your thoughts. How do you feel about all this? Hockey men. One question I have for you guys. If you had to think about it, do you think Odin, Prime Odin, is stronger than Mihawk? Leave your thoughts. Again, make sure to like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Follow me on Twitter at BragoDAce. Follow me on Instagram at BragoD.Ace. Thank you to my patrons. I appreciate you guys all so much. Again, guys, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.
okay. I start doubting me. I felt lost. I re-